Good morning. Good morning. This is a rare sight. Oh my god! Is that pre-workout? Oh my god! That's so fucking gagful. That's gagful. Where it just makes you want to gag. You mean vomitable? <laughs> vomitable? Are you doing that with Coke? What the hell's in there? Half and half flavoring. Or tea flavoring. Iced tea? Ew, is it all lumpy in there? Yeah, you're fucking disgusting, dude. Oh, uh, you don't want your massage hair to get to your mouth? It's not good. Don't do it. Bart wouldn't know what we were talking You're about. Like a fucking chemistry experiment in your mouth. That's why I just stick to the normal shit. It's called coffee. That's it. <laughs> I don't do Me that too. crazy ass stuff. That's why I squat a lot. That's it though. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. Because it wears off. Oh. today because I was on the bed just looking like trying to figure out snapchat and then I heard the keys I'm like oh shit Bart's here and then I heard it was you and you're like I love you I love you I love you <laughs> and I'm like it's my time to shine you, you <laughs> sorry because usually when I come nobody's here so I just talk to the girls and I'm like hey my girls and they're just like so happy to see me and then I came to get the clothes so I'm like is anybody here? You bitch! You got me! You got me! Well, well, I'm sure I'll be in one of your vlogs getting scared. Um, so now, wait till you... Just wait! Just wait! I'm gonna get you. The war has started. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down too. Alright, the goal is to make one of us pee. Or like fall on the floor. Oh, oh fuck. That's the goal. Alright, let's see who I'm wins. pretty sure you're gonna fucking kill me. I know, girl. I have keys to your house. Fuck. <laughs> you don't have keys to mine. Fuck, that's a good point. And your ass probably fits underneath that bed. Dude, I swear to God. If I'm getting ready one of these days and I feel it, that's like one of my biggest fears now. Like I've always You're done. Letting me know. Okay? I know. Let's see if I could let's see if I could get it. So as a kid, let's see, I'm gonna try to show you guys. As a kid, this is what I would do. I'd go here and I'd go like this. <laughs> I used to do the same. Because I'm afraid I have to get a cuff, so I would, or I'd be like this, and then if one foot was like, if one foot was dangling, I would remember, and I'd be like, oh shit, I yeah. gotta keep it up here. Yeah, that's why when we're watching Paranormal Activity, he had his like, foot sticking up, I'm like, they're gonna get you! <laughs> no! You have to stick it under the foot! Oh man. Fuck, you know what's gonna happen now? Every time I come home, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, be like this. This is gonna be my vision. I'm gonna be like, fuck, where's she at? Is she fucking in here? <laughs> She fucking in here? And then watch 30 years here? later, I never scare you. It's just this whole time was a psychological fuck. I'm all paranoid and shit. Oh my god. I know, right? Party of one! Ooh, ooh! Ooh, ooh! Ooh! <laughs> this is Bart on a daily. Like, this is not even a front. If the camera was off, it'd be the same shit. cares at all We're 
gonna go get some grub at Gorilla Mall. Gorilla Mall or Gorilla Mall? Is it Gorilla Mall or Gorilla Mall? What am I saying? What happened? Oh no, Nadim was benching and he feels his arm is, or shoulder feels weird. Gorilla Mall or Gorilla Mall? I'm so fucking weird. What are you getting? I don't know yet. You got, you got the... I got that one. Is it good? What should I get? What should I get? It's so good here. This is how we socialize. So, uh, yeah, we were out the other day and the weather was nice. How did you enjoy the weather? Oh, I'm gonna get back on my phone. Uh, yeah. I don't like bird poop on my car either. Why are we, why are we here? Um, well, this is what I told Sarah. Who's Sarah? Sarah is one of the Barbell Brigade staff. Or who's Sarah to you? Okay, so Sarah is, uh, one, he's one of the Barbell Brigade staff. And two, he's my macro coach. And so he's been working with me on my bulk. He works with me uh, when I'm trying to lean out. And, uh, today, <laughs> I just texted him right now. And I said, sorry, Sarah. I think I have to start next week. Uh, meaning my macros. And I said, Gorilla Mall personally called me to come down. And he goes, ha ha ha, shut up, did they really? And I go, no, but in my mind they did. So that's why I'm here. I'm just letting them know I'm gonna start next week. You know what's so funny? We have some, <clears throat> sorry. You know what's so funny? We have some true homie fans. And when they watch us eat bad stuff, they already put hashtag sorry, Sarah. Really? Yeah, or that's on awesome. or all my pictures. That's awesome. When they see me do something, they're like, sorry, Sarah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. People are fucking awesome. What's well, cool, it's like I'm bulking, so I have a little bit more leeway. way And I'm trying to get strong. I've been getting really strong, so very happy. You know what's crazy? I'm trying to do the opposite, and I'm trying to lean out again. Why did you do that turkey burger? Because although, well, come on, it's Krillamal. Because <laughs> although... I am, I still wear the same. This is where a lot of girls, or just people have that misconception that you have to pay attention to the number on the scale. And here's proof that you don't, and you shouldn't do that, is because I still wear the same that I did pre-boob, pre-boob pre pre job, right? Those things are at least like a pound or two, right? Yeah. And um, I've been out of like tracking macros for about three, almost three months now. Or no, three months, almost four. So I weigh the same, but my body does not look the same at all. There's like a lot more fat in the tummy area. That's exactly what happened. You haven't been training either. I haven't been training as hard just because I'm on the rehab program because I just had surgery, but yeah. So the scale says the same thing, but the mirror says something completely different. The mirror is much more important yep. than the scale. I agree 100%. <laughs> You're cute. Thank you, Mom. Will you marry me? See you guys, everything is fake on social media. Look at that. He had to tilt it forward. I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna look. Everything is fake on social media. Thank you. You guys ready to go? <laughs> yeah, I got mine. Let me just let me get a picture of it real quick. There we go. Alright, we'll wait for Bart to take his picture and we'll throw these away. Totally kidding, by the way. We're not gonna throw them away. Where are you gonna post this picture at? Where? Yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna eat Okay, I'm gonna eat too. Okay, bye. <laughs> Start it. Barba Brigade meeting. How did that sound familiar to you? What? Brigade. And the team's not doing shit. Yeah, no, this is different. Yeah, what's that? Right, Joe.
Huh? Six forty. Wait, mine has I'm the waiting. Yeah. True. And there's Blee. There's A A Ron. There's Ren with two N's. There's Joe. There's Churro. There's Sero. Not to be confused with Churro. There's Tony. Oh, it's Saron. Not to be confused with Aaron, aka Playron. But now it's Stay it's Stayron. It's Stayron now. Do have Tony? Hi Tony. And then there's Mike. Oh, Payron. 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 Oh, yeah. Payron. It's Payron. Wait, who's this guy? Bart. Bert. Shut up, Bert. Shut up, Lou. It's Bart. And then this is the this is Nadim. And that's Nadim. Hey! That's me over there. That's the insult. <laughs> why, uh, why they keep applying and why we, we were not hiring them. Yeah. Because it, it'll just create like this really awkward environment if you see them all the time. I can't believe that this is actually a business meeting and he wants people to take him seriously. And then the third thing, um, but he has you have a small budget to purchase equipment for the his trip, legs anything, like, we on Lou. Let Mike know. Because Mike's pretty... Uh, Solid in terms of like after a lot of barbell meetings, we're done. It's 10 o'clock now, and we join forces again with the crew, the JK crew, the family, and we're having barbecue. I remember she kept saying that while we were. Uh, what is that? Damn, that thing is thick as hell. Yeah, it's good. You guys gotta get it. It's the mud of good shit. Why did she turn it down so hard? Oh, man, I'm not gonna fight for this prefer it not to say you're Korean or anything I'm just like how do you prefer to eat your Korean like what do you like do is there anything the special and then uh, depending on the meat cut if it's brisket I usually like a medium rare if it's tongue I like it uh, medium I like to dip it in the sauce whoa what, I don't think the sauce look like this I think it like look Korean, like this Korean ponzu sauce or whatever and I dip it in the rice and then uh, later the rice soaks up that sauce too so the rice becomes flavor and I eat that I eat it with salad and I always like to get this soybean soup. It's like a stinky soup, but it's really bomb. It smells like fart, but it's pretty bomb. It's delicious. Cause it's, you said it's fermented? Yeah, it's so I think it's like a fermented soybean mix at the base. Mm -hmm. It's kind of spicy. What's your favorite cut of meat? Usually in Korean barbecue places, my favorite meat is the tongue. Especially if they have high quality tongue that's really soft and that's really yummy. What's your second favorite? Second favorite is pie brisket. I found out how to use Facebook. Da, 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 da. That's the one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually my favorite too. Like, like this like one is halbi, like, like, so it's butts. marinated beef, but I don't really like so it. Do the opposite. A lot of people do like it, especially if they don't um, like the taste of meat. They enjoy this. How come you don't like it? I, it's too sweet. I really do enjoy enjoy the taste of meat. So you don't like that marinade? No, I like the meat flavor. That makes sense. That's why when I eat shabu shabu. You want more? You want I also. Like just getting the water base, yeah. just cause. Wow, you got it. Uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, just cause I like to taste the meat. Oh yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, I like the flavor. Yeah. What's your favorite cut? Anything they bring. That's what's. I don't know. That's what's really dope about Aaron. He's not a picky person. He just makes everything work. I, I can't say that I've ever heard you say you don't like something. No, because you won't ever. <laughs> I'll eat anything. 
we got. Do you like child abuse? We got plenty of meat. I can't eat that, so no. That was a good one. You almost caught him slipping. He had to think about it for a second, like, oh shit. I really think you were saying well, Somebody else asked me that before you, so I had to answer it. Good job, Nats. You know, since you're, you're doing a your great job. Julia, I noticed how much you move your head. Really? Because before, when it's long, it's kind of like you have a hood, right? If you have long hair, it looks like this. It's probably like moving around. Like, there's not much stuff going on, right? But then now, when I just told you, uh, oh, we have enough meat, and you're looking for a place to put it down, you're like. <laughs> And I noticed that at JK News too, like you'll be sitting there and then like you'll be like talking to the baby like What? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh shit, I didn't realize Julia moved look at look at look at look. She said that she, I didn't realize she moved her head around that much until she cut her hair. <laughs> I yeah, know, like, I one, now notice, she'll be like it's like look Sonic the headshot. <laughs> no, I noticed before because she always messes with her with her bangs, so she'll be like <laughs> yeah, she'll always be like, moving it would get it out. Away. I do. See, the head's a different angle now. Two angles already, look. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now we are going to Wee Spa. Hi, Papa. Hi, Mama Bikini Weasel. How do you feel? I feel good. Why? Just. Just why? Because you just got back from the spa. I did. But I feel like somehow I got too much soap in my eyes and my eyes are burning and it's just dry. Did you get, get eye, soap in your eye? I think so. You're not sure? I think I had soap in my eyes, but then I just kept scrubbing away. And then even though I had soap in my eyes, I was like, I'll just get it out later. You scrubbed a lot because I see all this right here. It's really shiny. Yeah, I scrubbed it. Wow, your eyes are so red. I got soap in them. Oh my God. Did they feel really dry? Yeah, because I, I, I got them in my eyes and I just left it there for like 15 minutes. Why would you do that? I just wanted to finish scrubbing. So I was just like, oh, fuck, it burns. And I'm like, I'll just keep <sighs> scrubbing it. Uh, Eee. Oh my god, immediately that the first thing I want to do is just take the soap out of my eyes. I know, but the nose uh focused. Dang. For me, um I didn't bring my face wash, I forgot it. So there's all the this line here. This is all just makeup. You didn't scrub your eye? No, I did. So you do this right, but then it just stays along the waterline. You didn't let me scrub it with the towel? No, I mean I can't put a towel like this close to my eyeball, because then it's gonna, the go tail's gonna go inside my eye. Oh, fine. Okay. So I, you have to do your hands, because then that's the part you can control the most. Mm. But then this whole thing is like mascara still that it, my, the face wash that they have, just doesn't remove, so it looks crazy. But I feel so relaxed. I feel really good. I always feel relaxed mm. after the spa. I never really liked going to the spa before, just because I don't, I didn't know the spa. spa. Sparkles. Spa culture, just because, like, there's, like, a culture in there, you know what I mean? Like, you're not supposed to, like, if you walk around with, like, clothes on in the, like, sauna and pools area, then you're a freaking weirdo. Like, there's, there's like, etiquette. So, I had to learn. And I watch all the Asian ladies, like, they always have their little basket of, like, toiletries. You have your basket, too. But I don't take it into the way they do. And then they have the home homegirl system where one girl washes the other, or the one lady washes the other lady's back. I don't have anyone to wash my back. I'm lonely in there. You at least have Nadine. Fine, I have to use the restroom. Or are you going to put poor pee pee? I don't know. I saw her dance with the devil. And he was wearing my suit Black and white Jordan 11 And she was looking for me Then you gotta knock it out Briggy's tired of her crap, he's about I'm to fall asleep Briggy, go to sleep, you're tired of her crap, aren't you? Yeah, fine, you're tired of her crap 
She went to sleep already. Marketing job that he had.